they got me. Yo, they got me to title something like that and to be like, hey, we're gonna try this. Boom. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another day and time for another episode. I'm back in studio and lots of fun stuff coming your way. If you're new, hey, my name is Rosalie. I'm a singer-songwriter. I have a master's in counseling psychology. And this channel is all about music from all around the world, talking about music and psychology. We're on a ride here, listening and exploring music and all kinds of artists from all around the globe, taking apart the lyrics, finding encouragement and inspiration. I am so happy that you're here. And if you're back, welcome back, you guys. I'm so honored how many of you are watching this video and subscribing, the channel's growing fast, so join the ride. But today, I want to dive into another home free. I've seen two of their videos so far. The first one I was blown away by, that was their rendition of the song Man of Constant Sorrow, um, and their cover of it was amazing. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. And um, then I listened to their version of When a Man Loves a Woman, and while it was nice, you know, I had some, some feedback to give. It wasn't my favorite rendition of that song. There's a different version of it that I prefer, and so I was sharing my thoughts on it. And I just wanted to thank all you home fries out there, the fans of Home Free are referred to as home fries, who were so kind and understanding, who allowed me the space to, to express my opinion, even if you respectfully disagree. Um, that is not to take away from how wonderful they are and how talented they are but you guys many of you who are here probably are here because you're big home free fans and you might know much more about them I'm still learning um, and what we know so far is that it's a group of five gentlemen super talented I want to watch a video with you guys that is on Austin Brown's channel he's one of the members of home free and uh, the video is called two country singers trying to sing opera um, Austin Brown and uh, Rob Lind Lundquist I hope I'm saying his name right um, are doing a song Ness and Dorma and they're gonna do opera so this came out the September 17th just a few days ago has over 77,000 views I'm curious to see what this is. Are they, you know, gonna showcase their vocal ability? Are they just having some fun? Are they being goofy? You've let me know that though, maybe their main niche is country. They cover all kinds of different songs. And um, they also like to have a good time and be silly. So I'm gonna check it out. If you're new or even if you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe, guys. I am on Patreon. So if you wanna become a patron, I'm working on a whole bunch of awesome content. There's already stuff out there. If you're interested in some of my covers, there's a possibilities for us, for you to join a live chat, um, AMA, ask me anything, Q and A's, merch coming soon, all kinds of different things that you will have access to depending on the package that you choose. So if you're interested and you want more access and you wanna, you wanna join this community in an even more personal level check out my patreon.com forward slash rosalie reacts and yeah like share subscribe on here i'm happy that you're here you guys so oops i keep doing this you guys i keep putting my water in places and then i spill it anyways <laughs> let me have a sip of this water and let's dive right in i do not drink enough water sheesh i love me some good coffee in the morning and then sometimes I realize it has been a minute since I've had some water. So, but you didn't come here to watch me drink water. So let's dive right in. We're going to check out this video. Excuse me. What is happening here? Are they? Is this them for real? The most recent reaction I did to their music was their cover of When a Man Loves a Woman. And I think that was mostly Austin Brown taking the lead and then the rest of them, you know, just carrying the rest of the song. And um, what's impressive to me, um, though, in that video, you know, it was a mix. I had mixed feelings, right? Um, uh, where, you know, it was not quite what I expected. It was great, but it was not my favorite rendition of the song. It was very high, and it just felt like the same thing over and over again. And that is not to be offensive. It was just not my favorite version of the song. Though, to be honest with you, it's also not necessarily even one of my top favorite songs to begin with. So maybe that's something that needs to be taken into consideration. But Austin Brown has an amazing voice, right? He, in that particular song, was able to... to 
um, sing so high with such strength and do certain runs that were, from a vocal perspective, very impressive. Um, but I didn't realize they could do opera. Like, what the heck? And then Rob Lundquist, he is, from what I understand, the lower tenor of the group Home Free, right? What I like doing with musicians is check out different songs and different aspects of their work because not every singer is always the same. Nessun Dorma is a song that Luciano Pavarotti sang. Huge legend. Um, it is an aria by Giacomo Puccini and it is in Italian. Composer was Giacomo Puccini from the final act of Giacomo Puccini's opera Turandot and it is in Italian and um, I guess there's also a film called Nessun Dorma. I don't know enough about it. Um, Dorma makes me think of dormir, like sleeping, right? Um, in English, that could be translated as let no one sleep. Mm, interesting. Um, we'll look at the lyrics after. Let's keep, let's keep checking this out. I'll go back a little bit. 040. Can appreciate though I don't really listen to opera much myself I love music and music to me is art that's why I don't like just picking one favorite artist that's why I can't agree with people that just have that one ultimate person because there's different legends in each genre and each of them brings something beautiful kind of like what I was talking about the other day in my short check that out where I was talking about the trees and nature and how beautiful the diversity is um, but I can appreciate though I don't listen to opera much myself the ability to sing opera. That is incredibly hard. Opera, to me, is a type of music genre you need to have a specific voice for or ability for. For the fact, the fact that these gentlemen, though we know that they're incredibly talented as vocalists, can sing opera in a way that it sounds so operatic, right? I mean, we know, okay, they're tenors. Um, Rob is on the lower end of the tenor. Austin can hit those really high notes. They have every two different distinct voices powerful and amazing in their own right we know that but that they can sing opera so beautifully now i'm not an expert on opera right but to me it sounds very operatic and very powerful the fact also that they're singing this in italian that is not easy for me you know languages come easy because i grew up bilingual I've been exposed to multiple languages and picked them up quickly, but for many people that is not easy. These gentlemen, from what I understand, are American, and they are singing this beautifully. <laughs> This song. What am I talking about? Nessun Dorma. I, I, that doesn't ring a bell. This part is familiar. La da da da, la da. Like that sounds familiar. Pavarotti is a legend. Oh my goodness. They are killing this. Can I just point out how cool it is that they titled this video Two Country Capital? Two Country Singers Trying Singing Opera. They got me. I thought this might be something goofy, something silly. They not, they're not trying. They're killing this. They're, they are killing this. This is amazing.
vincerò vincerò I do know this song. What was I thinking? The first, the first uh, parts that didn't didn't ring a bell for some reason. I know this song, Nessun Dorma. The lyrics, um, Nessun Dorma, Nessun Dorma, Tu pure o principessa. Um, none shall sleep, none shall sleep. Okay, maybe that's a better way to, to translate that. Let no one sleep, none shall sleep. Not even you, O oh princess, in your cold bedroom watching the stars that tremble with love and with hope. I mean, talk about opera and Italian and just passion. Um, but my secret is hidden within me. No one will know my name. No, no. Oh, on your mouth I will say it when the light shines, and my kiss will dissolve the silence that makes you mine. Silencio. The way he was saying that, very well done. Um... And then the women are heard singing in the distance. So I like how, even though these were two gentlemen, they brought in a lot of fullness. Again, both powerhouses vocally, but their voices are still distinct and unique, and I like that. And then even joining in 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 uh, harmony there towards the end, first in unison, then in harmony. Um, no one will know his name, and we will have to, alas, die, die. I mean, just imagine, right? Opera and the drama and the oh, vanish, oh night, fade, you stars, fade, you stars. At dawn, I will win, I will win. Vincero, right? Vincero, Vincero. Oh my goodness! Fantastic job. They got me. Yo, they got me. I like this. To me, that actually, though I thought it might be something humorous, and then they, like, slayed it, um, to me, I feel like um, that still shows their humorous side. To title something like that, and to be like, hey, we're going to try this. Boom! That was amazing. That was absolutely impressive. And I like that I got to experience this, because I've said this before, I love when people tap into different genres. Um, I listen to all kinds of music, but when it comes to what I sing, it's more like soul, um, R&B, I have more of that raspy, right, maybe blues, jazz, um, sometimes some pop, and I like taking songs and making them my own, because times when I've tried to cover something and trying to sound like the original, it's just like, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> but um, when I take something and I make it my own, it's easier, right, and it'll, it, and it's probably... A, and chances are it's more authentic and genuine to those who are listening because my heart is in it, the emotions. Um, so I love when people do things that might be outside of their comfort zone or might be different than what they usually do, a.k.a. country singers. And I'm doing this because, you know, that's mostly what they do, but I know that's not all they do. But this really showcased beautifully their their um, voice, even as they were singing, watching them. And part of this might be, you know... Um, influenced by your comments and what I'm learning through you that they're really fun guys and really down to earth so I it's very possible I'm taking that and looking at them through that lens um but they do seem that way like even just learning a bit they do seem really chill really down to earth and um this was cool. This was really, really cool. Wow. That was something different. I'm going to dive back into Home Free as the group. Next is Brothers in Arms. So wait for that video. Hop on over when it's ready. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe, become a patron. Check out patreon.com forward slash Rosalie Reacts. Thanks for being here, you guys. Lots and lots more coming. I appreciate you. This was Rosalie Reacts. Till next time. Ayo. <laughs>